Well, guys, uh, look what happened to me on my way home from getting this GPU. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech Vibe. Today we are going to be building a gaming PC for a hundred bucks. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but I'm telling you guys, I'm, I feel like we can get this done. Now we might run into some snags, might take us a little longer than we want to get this done. That's called foreshadowing. But there's so many parts out there, I know that if we go a used route, we can definitely find us some pretty dang good deals. Now guys, I've gotten a PC before for around 250 bucks here. You can check it out if you want. And that was a couple years ago, back when GPUs were going crazy, the, that whole thing. So to get that at that price was insane itself, but we got it done and we went the used route. This is something we're gonna do similar here. We're gonna be looking for used parts, seeing what we can put together, using all of our resources, trying to see what we can find, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. We'll use anything, I don't care. We're gonna get this done for 100, 100 buckies. And I know I said it before, but I want to emphasize that I'm fairly confident that we can make this just be a, a more modern gaming PC. Now, definitely we can get some emulators on here. I'm sure, they'll run great and fine, but I think that we can get something here that'll be able to play something like Destiny or Grand Theft Auto V. You know, those, those types of games that you're going to be able to play. Maybe even Diablo 4, I don't know. We'll see. Getting right into it, I needed to find a PC that was going to have everything that I needed, a good starting point PC, so I could find a good graphics card and whatever it else it was that I was gonna need to make this $100 gaming PC happen. And I thought that I'd come across it with this custom vintage PC here. It looked like it would be a really good starting point sleeper, was gonna have all the stuff that I needed, at least at first glance. It's what i assumed it to be so with no shipping costs here i thought this was the way to go and of course we needed to pick up some ram because i felt 16 gigabyte kit was the only way we were going to be able to do any real modern gaming and then we needed to also get another hard drive just enough to hold at least a game or two didn't need to be anything crazy Looking for a GPU online wasn't really going the way I wanted it to. Everybody wanted so much for shipping that it just kind of put me over that mark where I wasn't willing to go past. I decided to go look on Facebook Marketplace and lo and behold, I find a RX 570. So I messaged the guy. I asked him if it's available, anything wrong with it. And so I asked him if he'll take 40. And he does, he says he'll take 40. You know, I just happened to work out that way. $40 for an RX 570 that works just fine. That's not a bad deal, guys. We're gonna go meet up with him, see if it works. Hopefully it does. And if it does, we're in the green, we're still good on track. There's a risk with buying used parts for sure. It could not work. So day two, we're gonna go pick up this GPU from this guy. Hopefully it works out and everything is good on this thing. We're gonna see. Let's go pick this thing up. Harry Potters. Hey, how's it going? Nah, no, sorry about that. I was just didn't take me as long. Dusty. I was spending my computer for a while, but I finally cool. upgraded. So yeah, but ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Appreciate you. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you. We got the package. Here we are. Let's see how it works. Well, guys, uh, look what happened to me on my way home from getting this GPU. Looks like this uh, PC ended up costing a lot more. Wasn't my fault, though. I was just minding my business, 10 and 2, in my lane on the highway, and uh, an old gentleman uh, ran into me, came into my lane, and as you can see, destroyed my mirror and hit the side of the car. So, <laughs> sure, insurance will take care of it, but it's really inconvenient. Side note for the people that are curious about the wreck. Yes, I did get hurt a little bit in the wreck, hurt my back, uh, but we're gonna push through because you guys came to see a $100 PC. 
and we got all the parts finally here. It took a while, but they're here now, and we're gonna see what $100 can do for a PC. Let's put this thing together. Let's get it open. Now, I've not looked at any of this. I don't know what kind of packaging job I got. I don't know if everything's gonna work. I don't know what's up with this. Yellow paper. <clears throat> From the looks of it, this thing's filthy. Oh yeah. I mean, what kind of video would we have if we didn't run into some issues? This is our initial problem right here. Molex to six pin. And GPU we got is eight pin. So I guess we're not ready yet. Two weeks later. So now the adapter that we actually need to make this all work is finally here. We can actually proceed with this here and make sure that everything works. Let's see, what do we want to do closest to the CPU? Ooh. Is this acting like it's not DDR3? Because my pins aren't lining up. It's DDR2! Oh my god! The wrong thing. This is quickly becoming more expensive than I wanted it to be. It's definitely DDR2 and don't know how I didn't catch it. With no options left, I just put the PC together as it was and tried to see what we could run on this thing. And it turned out there really wasn't too much that I could even install on it. And the few games that I could, well, would run. At this point, it was back to the drawing board because I was not gonna be able to make this $100 gaming PC work here. So I needed to find something that was DDR3 to play some sort of modern games. So I went back to Facebook Marketplace and I did just that and found me a little something. Okay, so we were able to find a motherboard with a CPU and RAM combo here. It doesn't have an IO shield, which we're just gonna forego at the moment and just kind of suck it up and just ignore that. But with everything together, ignoring our uh, little hiccups that we've got going on right here, we're still pretty close to that hundred dollars, 110, 120. If we throw off some of the things here that we could get elsewhere for the same prices. So, you know, we're still within, I think I'm gonna say, I think we, we did okay. So let's get all this all swapped out get everything installed and see what this thing can actually do. So I did go ahead and get everything installed and for the quick guys you may have seen I did put a different power supply in there. I didn't need to do it but I just decided to do it for my own sanity and I was able to actually install more games this time around which was good to see but still I couldn't launch much of anything except one game, Bioshock. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> well, the mouse is struggling to even, no, no, we're on, we're not even playing at 1080p, so I'm curious if it can even handle max pain and I'm talking max pain, like the first one. Is this CPU really that bad? Spoiler alert, it was that bad. 
Now, even though I was running a DDR3 system, I had to go ahead and give up on this one because I kept running into CPUs that could only run Windows in 32-bit mode, and I needed one that could run 64 because most modern games run 64-bit nowadays. So here I was shooting myself in the foot because I kept running into these CPUs that simply weren't good enough. So I had to give up. But I wasn't done. I was determined I was going to make this work. I decided to get back on Facebook and see if I could find a Hail Mary. And I happened to find one, an Optiplex. And this wasn't just any regular Optiplex. This was an Optiplex that had an i5-8500 in it. And that makes it DDR4. That's right. It was looking like I might have found my answer for $50. And the only thing that this thing was missing was a hard drive. That meant I just needed to add my $9 hard drive to this thing in my $40 GPU, putting us at $99. That's right under our goal. At this price point, I was hitting our $100 PC gaming goal. And with an i5-8500, I should definitely be able to do something modern. I did get the Optiplex home and I wanted to check to see what all I was working with here to see what I needed to do to make this thing happen. And lo and behold, I run into another problem. I had no way to power the GPU because, well, it needed the eight pin and this thing did not have it. Now this wasn't like last time when I ran into the Molex to six pin. I didn't know how I was gonna convert this thing and make it work. I was gonna give up. With my head on my desk, I was about to pull the remaining hair follicles out of my head, and then I heard a voice telling me to get on YouTube. Hey, get your ass up. Get on YouTube. God? Yes, yeah, me. So I get to YouTube, and the first video I see on the homepage is by Dawi Does Tech Stuff, talking about something with an Optiplex. It's like YouTube had been listening to me uh, voice my frustrations out loud. You know how that goes. Your machines are always listening to us. But I click the video, and it seemed they'd be running into some of the similar problems that I was dealing with, but he had come up with solutions. And one of those solutions happened to be a peripheral to 8-pin, which I had no clue existed. So I had to get it. So finally, the part is here that can make this $100 gaming PC for modern games, mind you, possible. This is going to determine if this all works out. Now, I'm going to lie to you guys. We got to do some shicey stuff here. So as you guys can see, there's not a lot of room in this Optiplex. This is what we're dealing with. We've got an exhaust fan and intake or cooler, CPU cooler, which is blowing air onto the heat sink there. Other than that, we don't have any intake for this thing. So I'm kind of curious how cooling is going to go. But SSD is going to be here. Uh, we have our peripheral power here that's going to be powering our graphics card using these two nodules here. And graphics card is actually not going to fit. So it's going to be a close one here, but this little piece right here is actually in the way. And we are going to have to do some cutting of the graphics card to be able to make this fit. This part actually is going to have to go. That is the only way that we can make this fit. But we're prepared to do what we gotta do. This $100 build has to happen. So snip, 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 snip. Boom, edged up. Let's see if she fits. Like a glove. Just slid right on in there. Check that clearance, Papa. Let's get you a better look though. In there. Like this was meant to happen. After many attempts at this $100 gaming PC, it seemed like things were finally going my way here. I did have to do some questionable things to pull this off, but it still seemed like it was about to happen, like I was going to hit my goal. If everything powered on, well, we were golden. Currently we have power. Looks like Graphics card is getting power to it. No fans running, but not sure if we have post yet. We're about to find out. Okay, I got a mouse hooked into it this time. 
I suppose. Heck yeah. With everything powering on, the system posting, it was looking really good. All that was left to do was run some games, and run some games we did. And not just any game. Cyberpunk. Low settings, 60 FPS. Now, we aren't locked at the 60 FPS for those that are watching it like a hawk here, but I do want to point something out. I'm doing this and I'm bouncing back from 60 FPS with eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, if I were to throw a 16 gigabyte kit in here, absolutely we're hitting the 60 FPS, no problem. $100 gaming PC, modern gaming PC, we did it. We did it, I, I, we did that. Now we did go ahead and throw some Apex Legends on here just to show that it could definitely go further than that 60 FPS. We did have to turn off VSync in order to allow it to go past it. But just to show you guys that it could do this, it, there, there's no question. And this is running at medium settings here, around 80 to 100, depending on what's going on in the game. Now, typically I'm better at this game than what you're seeing, but I'm playing on a keyboard and mouse that I don't actually normally play on, and there's not much room on my desk. I got two mouses, two keyboards on here going on to show you all this stuff for this testing. Just give me, cut me some slack. The point is, we did the $100 gaming PC. It's it's done, it's in the books, count it, count it done, count it did. Now I've been working on this video for over a month now. This $100 gaming PC, and it has definitely had its challenges and trials associated with it. The wreck, failing two different systems, not being able to get it done, and having to spend more money than I intended to, and all the little small roadblocks between that. But we did end up here, and we did get it done for $100. $99 to get a modern gaming PC. It's crazy. I'm glad that it took this because I went ahead and made mistakes for other people. So if they're wanting to get into this space, they're wanting to get into gaming PCs, this is how you do it. If you're on a budget, you don't have a lot, this is absolutely affordable to do. Now you do have to do some searching. It is not gonna be easy to do. You're not always gonna find the great deals. But if you keep looking guys, you can definitely, definitely make it happen. And I'm glad that I basically put the blueprint here on how you actually do it. You might be wondering, was all this worth it? All this effort? I would say, yeah, it's worth it. If you're strong enough. Real quick, if you did enjoy this extreme budget build video, I am going to be trying to put 20 to 40 more dollars into this PC here and see if we can make this thing play Starfield. So do the things, like, subscribe, whatever, so you get notified when that goes up. Next.